Welcome back, my sweet boys and girls. This is day four of our review today. Now, today we're reviewing two different things. We're going to talk first about quarters, and then we're going to talk about our shapes, and we're going to do this sorted out together. So first, let's look at these quarters. All right, now, we didn't start out counting today because quarters are worth that's right, 25 cents. And counting by 25s, well, that's something we haven't quite accomplished yet. However, we can learn to count at least four quarters, all right? So, I have this sheet for you because I wanted you to see that as they counted the quarters here, they counted 25, 50, 75, a dollar. So, if something cost one dollar you are going to need one two three four quarters and isn't this cool a teacher friend of mine sent me this play money this actually the size and looks just like real money it's just a little lighter weight so that we can use in the classroom so i have four quarters four quarters equals one dollar if i wanted 75 cents 25, 50, 75, I would need three quarters. That's right. And then on number three, 25, 50, I would need two quarters to make 50 cents. Now here's the challenge. Here's the challenge. If I needed 50 cents and I didn't have quarters, but I had dimes, how many dimes would it take to make that 50 cents? Excellent, it would take five because I would count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It would take five dimes, but only two quarters. All right, so you can take a moment. If you want to pause the video, you can take a moment and go ahead and do that sheet, or you can do it at the end. I'll send you the answer sheets this evening. Now let's take a moment and let's look at our sorted out sheet. We're going to focus now on this one and we're going to sort out these shapes together. Let's look, let's look at this one here. Yes, that's right guys, you're beating me to it. This is the cylinder. Is it a 2D shape or a 3D shape? A 3D shape. Let's put it right there. Good job. All right, let's look at this one. Here's an oval. An oval is a 2D shape. Good job. All right. What about this one? A hexagon. Good job. Remember, you have your charts if you need to look at them. All right. There's a 2D shape, the hexagon. All right. What is this one, boys and girls? That's right, a rectangular prism. Is it a 2D shape or a 3D shape? 3D, very good. All right, let's look at this one. I'm gonna bring it up close because you have to see this bottom part. That's right, it's a cone. We see that bottom part right there. Okay, so that cone, is it a 2D shape or a 3D shape? That's right, a 3D shape. You guys are great. All right, a triangle. That's a 2D shape, good job. All right, a rectangle. That's right, that's a 2D shape as well. And one more, boys and girls, you're so smart. Look closely, that's right, a cube. And a cube is a 3D shape, excellent job. All right, so that's gonna help you out with your work and your work packet tonight. We've got one more day of review guys this week. Join me back tomorrow where we will review coins and we will finish our review of shapes. Excellent job, my eaglets. See you tomorrow.